welcome back to Endangered Species Spotlight. This week we are talking about our first ever endangered mushroom on here, the agaricon. This is the agaricon. It is a type of conch forming mushroom that is found throughout Europe, Asia, and North America, and also just in Morocco. It is typically found growing on evergreen trees, and it is a wood decaying fungus that is pretty much only found in old growth forests. And that is where the kind of conservation problems arise because the amount of old growth forests are rapidly declining. And that, in addition to being a whole problem all on its own, is the reason for the decline of the agaricon mushrooms as well. With less old growth forest habitat, there is less old growth trees and there is less habitat for this mushroom to grow. It's also threatened by harvesting as well because in a lot of places that it grows, it is used as a traditional folk medicine to treat kind of a variety of ailments, including respiratory illnesses and other stuff like that. So while it's not technically poisonous, it's not commonly eaten because it has a very bitter taste, but it is harvested to use as medicine. Now, there are only four countries where the agaricon mushroom itself is protected. Those are Poland, Germany, Lithuania, and Slovenia. It is illegal to harvest or otherwise remove the agaricon mushroom in those countries. However, other countries that don't exactly have a specific protection for this mushroom do have some form of old growth forest protection. Many areas in Canada and the United States do have protected areas of old growth forest where these mushrooms are found in. So that is definitely useful for the protection of this mushroom, even though it's not specifically itself protected, it does grow in a lot of protected areas. It is rather hard to cultivate not out in the natural habitat, so like in labs or mushroom growing facilities. There has been a little bit of a success, but it is kind of picky and difficult to grow. So kind of laboratory or captive cultivation is a slow growing process right now, but hopefully there will be a breakthrough in the near future where we can actually grow and distribute these mushrooms in a laboratory setting.